This video from Sharp Help, uh, we're taking a look at how you can assign different tax rates to your different sales departments on the XCA 107, 106 and 102 registers. This video presumes you, you may have seen my previous video where I've set up tax rates 1 and 2 to be 20% and 5% respectively. So at the end of that video I started talking about the information that are printed out on the program scan. So you can see here tax 1, 20%, tax 2, 5%. And then up here is my the default settings for my departments. So the one on the code above the department next to department one, department two, department three, department four, etc. They're all set to one, and that means that all the um, departments have defaulted to tax rate one. So if you're just programming one tax uh, rate on the machine and you want them all set to um, all the departments set to the same tax rate, that's fine. You don't need to do uh, what I'm going to do on this video. But you may, it's possible you may have a department that you want to be at tax rate 2 and you may also have a department that you want to be at tax rate 3. Um, perhaps you've got tax rate 3 set to non-VAT or at zero. Uh, so in this video that's what I'm going to show you how to do. If you look into how to set up the tax rates then you'll need to see the other video which I'll put up at the end of this one. Okay, so um, all the tax rate department programming is basically in the department programming chart on page 10 of the manual. Um, so if you turn the key round to the ZPGM position where all the programming's done, we'll now type in the code to change one of my departments from the default tax rate 1 to be tax rate 2. So the, this process is going to look nonsensical, so it will um, help if you can possibly see the flowchart on, on page 10 of the manual, or you can just watch the video all the way through and uh, it'll make sense by the end hopefully. So um, for this button, so we're going to do department five, let's say, to be at tax rate two. And to do that, once we're in ZPGM, it's zero, 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 then one, zero, followed by seven. That's the code. We then press XTM. We then, because it's department five, we have to press shift. And then this button here, it'll get you to department five. And then to save it, it's the hash. ST So you may have seen now, I was trying to indicate the department five, we've now got that set slightly differently. So the one indicates that it's tax rate two, yes, and tax rate one is no for that zero. Otherwise the settings are exactly the same. I'll just show you how to set a couple of departments to be tax rate free, just so just to prove the point as much as anything. So it's a very similar the problem with these type of machines is that you're looking at a code constantly and you just seem to be typing in zeros and ones all the time. Um, but we're in ZPGM, um, so we're going to go 0, 0, then 0, 1, followed by 0, 0, then the 7, um, and then uh, we then need to press the XTM, and then we'll type in a couple of departments just to show you how to do two in a row. So say, for example, you want departments 2 and 3 to have this setting, which is tax rate 3, which on this machine is set to 0. You hit the departments, and then when you're done, um, you then simply press the hash T ST button here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that, I, don't, I don't know if you clocked that, that's a bit annoying. So it only worked on department two. So the 1007 means that department two is now set to tax rate three, yes. Tax rate two, no. Tax rate one, no. I thought it would also work for department two, but it hasn't. Um, so don't do what I did. Um, you have to do each department individually, which is a bit annoying, but I guess you only have to set these up once. So um, so that's the way you do it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so if you follow the, the chart on page 10, along with this video, it should point you in the right direction. I'll have a other video showing you what all the other things mean in the department programming. So how to um, program a department price, how to set a department to be a refund button, um, and so on and so forth. So you can check out those videos um, on the, some of which will be appearing on screen now. Um, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.